Welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. Um, if you remember from last time, we saw that Sue had found some sort of egg and was hoping to use it to get off this island. However, it wasn't hatched yet. After that, I went inside and saved, which you didn't get to see because of length restrictions. But nothing else happened that you need to see. Don't worry about it. It was just the room right over there got unlocked after she left. So now we got to get out of the egg corridor. And hopefully as fast as possible. Maybe we can level up the rocket while we're at it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Rocket launcher is now at maximum. So is the polar star. Everything's all the way up. Perfect. Alright. So you're all probably wondering what the rocket launcher looks like if I don't, you know, kill its experience first. I might be willing to show you. Here's a great target. like a big old bucket of mass destruction. I still prefer the faster rate of this and the fact that it doesn't have any ammo you need to worry about. So I'll probably be using this for the most part. For a lot of bosses though where you only have a small window to hit in, it's best to use the rocket launcher because it gives you a large amount of damage in a small amount of time. Of course I do. Nothing left for me here. Hey, they're finally in contact. Poor guy gets left without his food. Guess it's cockroaches for him. She's fighting again, and we're back, and there's no one here, except for... Oh, no, that's just cruel. 
like I said. <sighs> Guess we have to go see her. Those two really do not like each other. What about Toriko? Maybe we should try saving her too? <sighs> maybe... Maybe... He can help us. Hmm. Grass Town, eh? Let's give it a shot. It's not the Mimica. Santa. <laughs> Very odd name, that. Oh, that stinks. Maybe we can just break in? Obviously not. It's another one of these creepy guys up here. See, why do they all say that? I'm not a soldier. Land on me? Ah! Whoa, okay. These fly. I have to watch out for that. Hey, I think... Yes, it is. It is key. Awesome. Now watch this, he could just walk right over the pit, but if I try to walk over, I fall down. He's got elite levitation skills. Hmm. Death trap. One touch means instant death. I don't think I'll touch it then. And with that, we have our next new weapon. Fireball. Shaka's house, huh? So, what will this mysterious fireball weapon do? And who and where is Chaco? We'll have to find out next, because this is almost running out of time. But if you're so worried about seeing it, this is the fireball. At level one, it only spits out two that just simply bounce around along the floor. Now that property can be really useful in getting enemies that are far away or that you don't want to come in direct contact with. Especially when you have a pit, because it'll just roll right into them. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching Let's Play Cave Story.